Subiaco Oval could be completely wiped out under new plans for the historic venue's redevelopment. A proposal to state government is only set to retain the front gates. A move footy grades say will destroy a piece of our history. The entry to WA's home of footy, a heritage-listed gate, could soon be all that's left of Subiaco Oval. Everything else said to be bulldozed under new plans to redevelop the historic site. You have heritage of 130 years and you just can't wipe it out just like that. The new draft being considered by the state government proposes the entire demolition of the Oval's grandstand, light towers and car park. It says it's simply too difficult to retain due to the distinctive curved design. Tiles from the Sandover Metal Walk will also be removed and relocated and the stadium turf ripped up and replaced. Well, it can't be ripped up because it's heritage listed. Also, the, the ashes of um, previous players and a goal umpire is underneath that turf there. It's just something that you can't replace. Footy legend Barry Cable played three premierships and his 100th game at Subi Oval. He believes there should be a museum to celebrate the site's history. Then we don't lose anything. It's at the ground where the history has been created for 130 years, so it's fantastic. It gives you a really goosey feeling walking in there because you know that that's where the action was. I think there's exciting opportunities of how we can showcase some of the history and memorabilia of Subi. The proposal is part of a move to revitalise Subiaco, but the state government says no final decisions have been made about what will take its place. The application is really as broad as possible and we'll be working um, with the successful tender about what can be kept and what can be relocated. Demolition will begin before the new school next door opens in 2020. Caitlin Barr, Nine News.